Hello y bienvenidos. Today we are talking about something we all want. To get better at using Unreal Engine 5. When I first used Unreal Engine, I thought it was cool but also a bit overwhelming. I was spending hours just looking for files, moving actors around the viewport and fixing my code. And I thought that this was normal. Sounds familiar? In this video we will be learning about shortcuts, the content browser, the viewport and other Unreal Engine tools that will help us achieve what we want to do faster. But how do we know that we can improve our process? Easy. We can always improve. We can work faster without sacrificing the accuracy of our work. Sitting down in a chair for too long hurts my back, so the faster I can finish a task and get up, the healthier it is for me. So why are we slow? Because we're not using all the helpful tools inside Unreal Engine 5. And there are a lot of tools that can benefit you and your development speed. Everything that we can do in the editor either has a shortcut assigned to it or you can assign a shortcut yourself. But you don't need to learn them all in one go. The best way to go about it is to notice which is the one action that you're repeating the most and then changing it to a shortcut. The shortcuts that have saved me the most time are saving a file, saving all files, undo, Redo, copy, paste, copy an attribute, paste an attribute, compiling a blueprint, start playing the game from anywhere, and let's stop there because I don't want to overwhelm you so quickly. I'll be putting the shortcuts on the screen, so make sure to pause the video if you need to take note of them. Now, let's talk about the files, how to look for them and how to find them. If I have created the file and remember the name, my go-to is the open asset window. Just type the name or asset type and it will find it for you. If I don't remember the specific name, but I remember the folder it was in, then I use the content browser or content drawer. You can use the folder colors to categorize them and also use the search feature to look for the asset you are looking for. This also works with multiple folders. If you just want to see the types of assets in a specific path, you can use filters. And if these filters are not good enough, you can use some advanced search functionality to find exactly what you're looking for. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about this specific topic. If you are searching for an asset used inside another asset, then the reference viewer is for you. Inside it, you will find at the right of the asset all the assets that the current one makes a reference to. And on the left, all the assets that are making a reference to the current one. Just to clarify this subject, a reference gets created anytime an asset inside the editor uses another asset. If I have a blueprint that has a car mesh inside, this means that there is a reference to that mesh. If the mesh has a texture, then that is also a reference that will get created. Another place where it is easy to lose time is in the viewport. Remember the open asset window? You can also drag and drop assets from it to the viewport. You can also easily duplicate actors, move them along with the camera, snap them to the ground, change view modes, change modes, pilot cameras, Pilot Actors, which is especially useful so we can use pointlets as flashlights in the dark places of our map. There is a lot more that I could talk about, but I'll leave it for you to discover. Whenever you feel that there should be a better way of doing something, search for it. It is very likely that the engine has it in some capacity. Working with Unreal Engine means that in one way or another you will be working with nodes. Just remember that to share them, you can copy and paste them to the notepad. Also, you can disconnect the nodes by pressing the ALT key and clicking on a pin. To move the connection, you can hold the CTRL key and then left click and hold while moving the mouse to another pin. You can create comments with the nodes selected and you can straighten them or align them 
if you want a little bit of order in your life. Staying updated is also important. Knowing the latest tools can make your work easier. So that's why looking for plugins that help your specific needs can change your life. But just remember not to overdo it. One plugin that I'm particularly fond of is Blueprint Assist, which lets me use blueprints without the need of touching the mouse too much. Also, it's nice that it can auto-arrange the notes. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. Finally, it is very important that you dedicate some time to mastering your craft. This means doing some research. When I was working for a studio, they liked to do things their way because it worked. But when the break was finished and I left, I noticed that a lot of tools and solutions I was using were outdated. It was like being inside a time capsule because I didn't make time to stay up to date. By now, you should be able to take everything that you have learned in this video and improve your workflow. Things that used to take you one minute may take you a few seconds now. And if you take in consideration the compound effect, you will be able to reduce the time you spend sitting down in front of a computer and spend that extra time with your loved ones. Remember, just focus on getting better than you were yesterday. You'll see yourself getting faster day by day. Everything I know comes from learning something new every day and practicing what I know. And if you're eager to learn something new about Unreal Engine every day, make sure to check out our Game Death Quest webpage, where we've broken down the complexities of game development into easily comprehensible lessons, guiding you step by step on your journey to become a great game developer. It's like a university program, but for free. So that's it. Learn these tools, keep getting better, and improve a little bit every day. Just try it out. Thanks for watching. Try these tips and let us know how it goes. Got questions or ideas for other videos? Leave them in the comments. See you next time and have fun! Learn to create an action game in Unreal Engine 5 at unfgames.com